It's been an amazing process. I feel really good about it now. It's changed how I look at my students. It's changed how I plan my lessons. It's heightened my awareness of my students as individuals rather than sort of my class as a whole. The professional learning cycle, plan, act, observe, reflect, is a process that's used by teams of educators for professional learning. Learning occurs during and between team meetings when educators share practice, examine student work, and or access opportunities to build their instructional skills and knowledge base. I know in the past when I would go to workshops or professional development uh, learning opportunities, um, I felt I was very much in isolation. A lot of times teachers work in isolation and these cycles now allow teachers to collaborate together. The biggest impact that I've seen with the professional learning cycle is that it's changed the conversation at the senior admin table, it's changed the conversation at principal tables, at le leadership learning team tables, at department chair meetings. It has completely revolutionized the conversation, where a few years back we'd be talking a lot about operational issues. Now we're talking about student achievement and student learning, and we're guarding that time. I think that's been the biggest change that I've seen. We all have our own classroom still, but what we're doing is just pooling our resources, pooling our thoughts, pooling our activities. The professional learning cycle is a collaborative inquiry process that is driven and focused by student needs. The other change that I've seen is that student work is driving the discussion. Not student behavior, not uh, student attitudes, student work, classroom-based evidence. What's happening now with the professional learning cycle is that classroom evidence is being used to affect and impact student learning. And it's much more readily available and it's much more reliable and personalized for that individual teacher and for those students. And I think that has been a huge shift that I've seen in that teachers are talking about student work. And this professional learning cycle really is a thinking process around how to meet the needs of, of your students. The learning cycle is not a prescription. If I go to the doctor and I'm not feeling well, I don't expect the doctor to give me 10 prescriptions and say, okay, go away, take these, and something's going to work. I think sometimes that's what we've done in education, whereas the professional learning cycle, if it is, going to allow us to work smarter than it is because it will give us that focus to say you can truly discover what does make the difference and then that's where you focus your energies. This initiative is different. The difference between this, uh, this initiative and other ones is that other ones were specifically targeted towards certain particular groups of students. So we had students in the apprenticeship track or students that were to the college track or the university, some of the high-end university tracks or looking at, you know, giving them expanded opportunities to go to the workplace. The reality is from K to 12, there's been no other initiative that has aligned um, teaching pedagogy like this one because we're looking at personalized and customized instruction for every single student in our classes. And I think that's very powerful given where we were. The professional learning cycle is about all of us working together to reach every student. When we talk about the professional learning cycle, it's afforded us a universal framework for us to really collaborate together, to inquire, to assess, to discuss, and really set classroom school and board direction. Uh, we've embraced the uh, professional learning cycle at all levels of the organization. The professional learning cycle can be challenging, but that's part of the learning, professional learning. If it wasn't difficult in some sense, then, then that real learning that we're trying to get to and the sticky parts, that needs to be worked through. That's the important part of our professional development. The videos here are intended to open dialogue, to open our minds and to open doors. Six school boards across the province have opened their doors to us to see their professional learning cycles in action. These segments are not scripted. They show learning teams, teachers, leaders and facilitators in action and reflecting on what they do. The work may differ from board to board, school to school and classroom to classroom, but all use the professional learning cycle to guide their instructional practice. So let's head into some schools and see it in action.